after um, a candidate finds two or three uh, franchises to look into, they like these concepts that, that the franchise broker or consultant has shown them. Um, the franchisor oftentimes sends them additional due diligence, such as the FDD. Um, for, for somebody that doesn't know what a FDD is, could you kind of explain to them um, what, that, what an FDD is and maybe what they should be looking at in the process with, with an FDD? So the FDD stands for Franchise Disclosure Document. It is the contract between the franchisor and the franchisee. So if it is a franchise, it's going to have an FDD and it's going to state all of the responsibilities of the franchisor and the responsibilities of the franchisee. So it does have 23 items, um, and each one of the items is going to have a breakdown of the fees, of the territory, of the financial performance of the franchisee. So you can essentially find out how much money you can make, what's the size of your territory, who are the people that you're going to get in business with. So who is the franchisor? What kind of experience do they have? Um, it is a very long document. It can be hundreds of pages, but we help you break it down and understand. We have franchise attorneys on our team, but the idea of the FDD is that you are going to have an opportunity to work with a professional who understands and can break it down for you. Are you trying to escape the W-2 rat race? Or have you always wanted to own your own business? Have you ever thought about owning a franchise? If so, FranUniversity.com can help. Our training program teaches you everything you need to know about franchise ownership, from choosing the right franchise to launching and running your business. We have the resources and specialists to help you from A to Z. You'll gain the skills and knowledge you need to succeed as a franchise owner. The best part? It's free to join. Go to FranUniversity.com. So, so after um, the candidate goes down and maybe identifies this franchise that they want to keep on going through the process of just kind of doing the due diligence on this, on this, uh, a good franchise broker has resources such as uh, attorneys that specialize in franchises. And I think it can, it scares people because they're like, wow, there's so much paperwork, but, but as they're going down the due diligence process, at what point would you recommend an attorney gets involved? Is that after they do their discovery day and they're pretty much ready to sign, but they just want to ch uh, check the boxes and dot the I's kind of thing? There are different steps in reviewing an FTD. So it does start with the client. So once the client gets disclosed the FTD, they have 14 calendar days to be able to review it and have a basic understanding that you don't have to understand everything. You're not signing on the dotted line. You're just given the document and it's going to, and we're going to help you break it down and understand what it is that you're reading. Then you're going to have a conversation with the franchisor to make sure that you understand the entire agreement. But when it comes down to having a legal review, that happens at a later step. So once you are pretty committed on which franchise you're the most interested in, that's when you need to be making sure that you're getting an, a franchise attorney, not a business attorney, not your family lawyer, to look at the agreement and look out for things like red flags, um, what are what are things in the agreement that should be brought to your attention, to the client's attention? So they're going to help you review it, get clarity, understand it. In some cases, the FDD is not typically a highly negotiable document, but it does have room depending on the things that you're asking for. Not, not the franchise fee, not the royalties, but there are a lot of fees that um, the franchisor and the franchisee have to understand. Um, so that's the purpose of getting a franchise attorney. And it usually happens at the end of the process prior, prior to attending discovery day. 
Hey guys, Bo Exine here. If you enjoyed what you saw, please subscribe to this channel. We talk all things financing. I've been in the lending industry for over 20 years and I'm happy to answer your questions and provide great content.